I'm getting a chance to drive the Volkswagen e-Golf. This car is not available in Canada and right now it has a range of about 135 to 140 kilometers. Later this year at the LA Auto Show is when they're going to unveil the next version of this car. It's going to have much greater distance, probably over 300 kilometers of driving range. This is the first chance I've had a chance to drive the e-Golf. In the United States it starts around $29,000 up to $35,000 to get the one that you see here and that's actually a very good price. You consider other manufacturers like um, the Bolts is going to be around 37,000 US and hopefully this car will have similar range to that when it's unveiled later this year. So I'm here in Washington State getting a chance to drive the e-Golf for the first time. Now anybody that's ever driven an electric car uh, it is kind of addictive because this is what you get. First of all it's quiet. You put your foot into it and you take off because you've got a direct drive. The battery powers the electric motor and spins the wheels. You've got all of that torque, in this case 199 pound-feet of torque almost instantly and 115 horsepower. You can put your foot into it again. Uh, you get the sense that this vehicle has a wonderful driving characteristic. Well first of all this is the Volkswagen Golf MQB platform which is fantastic and then you throw in a battery pack, it keeps the weight down, and a very responsive electric powertrain. And the other thing about uh, electric uh, drive is that it's instant. You put your foot on the accelerator, you've got power, and then when you lift off and brake, you regenerate that power. So it's a very rewarding experience. And I can see why people who buy an electric car probably say that's all they want to drive because it is a satisfying experience. Uh, what you don't get with electric powertrains is the range and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people are resisting buying these vehicles. But I have to tell you if you can get that range uh, it's going to be exciting. Now uh, Chevrolet, uh, Chevrolet uh, General Motors Canada has announced that the Bolt their new hatchback, similar in size to this, will be getting 383 kilometers on a charge. And that's significant. That's a long range. This car is about 135 kilometers of range. That's 383. So with the update for this car coming later in the year, uh, let's hope that they can come with the 300 plus kilometer range. That would really make it a vehicle that people could enjoy uh, day to day and not really have to worry about uh, how far they're driving. But uh, I know as it stands, this is a wonderful exercise. Uh, not very many sales of electric cars. Uh, it's really still only less than 1% in the marketplace, but it is going to change. People are going to slowly evolve. And with the whole diesel scandal, that Volkswagen's had, they are pushing in the electric category because it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when people switch from an internal combustion engine to an electric vehicle. And I've noticed there seems to be some resistance to those sort of halfway cars like the Volt and the uh, e-tron that gives you maybe say 40, 50, 60 kilometers of electric range and then it switches to an internal combustion engine. It, it seems that people don't really want that. They want to go from their regular car to full electric and have the same capacity. So let's see what happens. It's going to be an exciting uh, time. We're actually right now in the car business the same way the car business was 100 years ago. It's a revolutionary time and uh, you're witnessing it. Now the thing about electric cars is there really isn't any proprietary technology. You've got a battery pack, you've got an electric motor, you've got a low center of gravity, you've got wonderful torque, and uh, in this car, great handling as well. It all comes down to packaging and pricing. So it's going to be very exciting to see what they do with this car when it's unveiled later in the year. Uh, Volkswagen has been on record of saying that they want to have a vehicle that they can uh, charge in 15 minutes, can have 300 miles of range, at the same price as the regular Golf by the year 2025. That seems like a long way off, but in model years of cars, it really isn't. It's exciting to see there's more entries in the electric space. Once you drive an electric car, you can kind of see how people get addicted to the feeling, the quietness, the torque. And this car hopefully is going to be coming to Canada. The next generation, as I mentioned later this year, that's probably the one they're going to bring into the Canadian marketplace. Fingers crossed.